What's up, Internet? This is the 84th Wolf, and it's Saturday again. For me, anyway. It'll be Sunday for you. But anyway, we are ready to begin the next episode of Ruby, which is Chapter 11, Heroes and Monsters. Holy balls. It's been just getting crazier and crazier and crazier ever since episode six. And now we are, I'm, I'm assuming, assuming that they keep the, the formula, we're two episodes from the end, including this one. And then another year or so until they get the next season out, and which I will be severely depressed. But anyway, I'm really excited to see what happens. Well, what, what are the key things that are happening now? Well, everyone's kind of scattered around Vale, you know, fighting off the Grimm that are, that are invading. Uh, we got, who do we got? We got Ruby, who's trying to take down Torchwick and Neo on her own. So I'm a little worried about her. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little worried that she isn't thinking clearly and thinks that, uh, you know, I mean, yeah, they're to blame, partially to blame for what's been happening, especially with Penny, but I'm a little worried that she's overestimating herself or just isn't thinking clearly. So, we got Blake, who's just run into Adam at Beacon. Uh, Weiss is in the courtyard dealing with the White Fang. I don't know where Yang is, but I kind of think that Yang is maybe going to run into Blake and Adam and help her out or, you know, something along those lines. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, Ironwood is down. Who knows where? Ozpin and Pira are about to do the procedure to get, uh, who is it, uh, Amber's aura into her. Jean is probably going to have some relevance to that because she he was going to follow them. But unfortunately, Cinder is right behind them both. So it's going to be it's going to be an intense episode. I I I have shivers. I literally can't contain myself. So how about I just shut up and we watch the episode? Oh yeah, and of course the freaking dragon. Which by the way is a dragon according to the last episode's ending credits with the concept art. Guess who? Running away again? Is that what you've become, my love? A coward? Why are you doing this? You and I were going to change the world, remember? We were destined to light the fires of revolution. Ugh. Consider this the spark. I'm not running. You will. But not before you've suffered for your betrayal, my love. Well, obviously there was a <laughs> relationship between the two. It was always suspected, but now it's confirmed. Is this it, Velvet? Uh, this is bad. Well, I guess now's a better yes. time than any. Velvet! Really? Just make him count. Come on, come on. Prove my theory. What are you doing? She's going to get hurt. Just watch. Oh, I love this music, damn it! Holy! Oh. 
That is awesome. She somehow can absorb the experience and weapons of every person she takes a photo of. That is freaking awesome! This was so worth it! My theory was close. What is this? Oh! Oh, that is... That is incredible. She can use everything! It's like a montage! It's fucking awesome! That hurts. <laughs> Summoning! Come on, do it! Yes! Holy shit, yes! Giant knight! Giant knight! Yes! It's a partial. Is it gonna be full? <laughs> Alright, it's a partial summoning. That's a good start. I like that actually. You have to. <laughs> Interesting. Can she suddenly not stand? Little Red, Little Red, you are just determined to be the hero of Vale, aren't you? What are you doing? Without these ships, the Grim will destroy everything. That's the plan. <laughs> Questions, Red. It's not what I have to gain. It's that I can't afford to lose. I'm guessing his life. That's the only thing I can think of. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, you've been getting better. And this was what I was afraid of. I'm maybe a gambling man. But even I know there are some bets you just don't take. Like it or not, the people that hired me are going to change the world. You can't stop them. I can't stop them. And you know the old saying, if you can't beat them... <laughs> That's pretty good. Ew. Screw you, Mary Poppins. I don't care what you say. We will stop them. And I will stop you! Bet on that! Oh. You got spirit, Red, but this is the real world! The real world is cold! Leave her the real alone! World doesn't care about spirit! You wanna be a hero? Then play the part and die like every other huntsman in history! Ow. Jesus. As for that me, hurts. I'll do what I do best. Lie, steal, cheat, and survive! Aw, oh, really? That's disappointing. That was a cool camera view.
You will use your own landing strategy. Haha, <laughs> there's Ironwood. Holy shit! It's not just his arm! It's half his goddamn body. This area is secure. We need to. Oh, he's pissed. Crow, this isn't my doing. There's someone behind him. <laughs> you idiot. I know you didn't do this. So what now, General? Someone's done the impossible and gained control of my machines. And that enormous grim seems to be fixated on the school. Glinda. Form up with the local huntsman and establish a safe zone here in Vale. We need to evacuate Beacon. Crow, I'm leaving that to you and my men. I still need to get to my ship. Oh, there's your ship. Well, it won't be much of a walk. Ah, the own the old Phantom Menace weakness. And we did it! Hmm. That went better than expected. <laughs> oh, there's Yang. Where, where were you? Hey, have you heard from Ruby? What about Blake? She went after an Alpha. And some members of the White Fang. You look for Ruby. I'll meet up with Blake. <laughs> it is cool. What is this place? It's a type of vault. You've been here before? What would this school need to hide? <laughs> a lot, apparently. What? Who? Jean. Pira, get to the pods. Mr. R, if you'd like to help, you can stand guard here. What do we do now? We do nothing. You, Miss Nikos, have a choice to make. going to work this could have been our day but Can't you see that? it's I, never I don't know <laughs> I wanted equality I wanted peace what you want is impossible but I understand because all I want is you Blake and as I set out upon this world and deliver the justice mankind so greatly deserves I will make it my mission to destroy everything you love. Blake! Where are you? Starting with her. Are you ready? I... Need to hear you say it. Yes. Thank you, Miss Nikos.
<laughs> Did that crack through? Oh, you did not just do that. Away from her. Oh, please. <laughs> Holy shit. Out of here. Find Glinda, Ironwood, Crow. Bring them here right away. The tower cannot fall. But I can help. You'll only get in the way. I was so terrified, my heart stopped. This whole time, right beneath our feet, she was right about you. Such arrogance. God damn it, you sons of oh God. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, um, a moment. I'll be right back. Okay, well, let's go over what we've learned. Let's get the cool things out of the way first. Now, just all the combat in this was amazing. It was very, it was definitely different. I mean, we've never seen the moves that we've seen before. Like, you know, with the whole, with, uh, Torchwick's, uh, I mean, we've seen Torchwick fight, but we haven't seen him do what, you know, he, he was doing with, uh, with his cane. There was a lot of new stuff, and that's really cool. Same with Ruby. Uh, I mean, you can, you can look over the fight scenes, and, and you can, and you can see she's doing stuff that she's, that we haven't seen, and that is really cool to watch. I, I, because some animators, you know, they use the same stuff over and over and over again, uh, with Ruby, I mean, they they polish off everything, which is really cool. Um, all right, what else? Uh, freaking Velvet with her freaking copy whatever. I I mean, my first theory was she was copying weapons and using them, and then like somebody said, well, I mean, she would have to, uh, you know, be able to use all the weapons and stuff like that. And I was like, well, yeah, I guess that's a good point. So I, I kind of changed my thing to, well, maybe she like summons familiars that can use them. But I was right the first time. 
It's the guy. She can use every weapon just by taking a picture of it. And apparently, she. A part of her semblance or something is like her aura, or maybe the weapon itself. Like the the um, like she doesn't have a typical weapon. She just has the camera, and her aura, her semblance, is what can create and understand all the weapons that she's seen. Or it could be just her hunter experience. Although she was like, you know, she was rattling them off like crazy. And I don't know, but because she took a picture of Weiss using her semblance, it could end up that she can use other people's semblances as well. Now, we won't know that until probably, I don't know, volume five or whatever, but you know, at least we finally answered the question of what the hell is in Velvet's box and what the hell does it do? So, I mean, that was amazing. And we got Weiss's first attempt, first real attempt at a summoning, and we know what it is. <laughs> we know we know she can do it, but she can only do a partial transformation. Now, whether or not it's because of how powerful that uh, night was, maybe she can only form a part of it because she hasn't trained enough, or uh, or she's still s struggling to get a hold of it, but that happened at the right opportune time. So, that was all cool. Disappointing bit. Roman. I don't want to say that he's dead. But, I mean, I don't want to say that because, you know, he's one of, he's one of my... He's one of my favorite characters. I mean, I, I like, you know, he's smart, he's uh, he's funny, he's he's obviously very skilled, and, I mean, I, I like him as a character. He's very vi visually designed. He's very different from everyone else, and, I mean, he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with most of the hunters at the school, and I think that's really cool, and all he has is a cane. So, he, I think it's really cool. And um, I'd be very disappointed if, like, you know, because Ruby immediately killed the Grim afterwards, you know, I'm hoping that, like, the Grim disintegrated before Roman was dead dead. But if he is, that will give Neo, who, you know, floated away, which was kind of funny. Um, it would give her more motivation to, I don't know, to, to talk, to fight, to train, and to take revenge. So... That might, that might be where they're going for that. Um, now, the really bad things. Cinder just brutally murders the Maiden and managed to get all the powers. So we don't even know if this, if this uh, aura transferring thing would even work. But, I mean, it looked like it was working, but it was causing intense pain. So we'll see what happens uh, with that. Apparently there were no long-lasting effects yet of an incomplete process of it. So we don't know if Pyrrha has some of the powers or if she was drained of a little bit of powers. Who knows? I mean, I'm just throwing suggestions out there because who knows what this kind of technology will do. No one's ever, I mean, no one's ever created this or, and, and even in the show, they've never really, uh, they don't even know if it will work. So it could be, you know, feedback or whatever. Um, and there's the fight between Adam and Blake pretty much went as far as, you know, as I expected it, except for the fact that Yang loses her fucking arm. Her arm is a part of her, you sons of bitch is, um, well, I was going to say sons of bitch because of Adam, but it's really sons of bitches because of the freaking writers of this thing. And Yang is my favorite character. This is going to freaking scar her. I mean, she'll probably make up with, like, some kind of, I don't know, some kind of um, robot arm, I guess. Because they, they can't write her out of a series. You can't do that. You cannot write Yang out of a goddamn series. And, I mean, the only thing that I... I mean, she loses an arm, yes, but... There was like a glowing thing there, and I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's like maybe an advanced heal. I want to say that just because I don't want her to lose her arm, but that's probably what's going to happen. But I mean, just the golden glow there. 
I don't know what that's going to entail. I mean, I, I'm, I'm assuming if you chop off someone's arm in this show, you know, they're not going to bleed golden stuff. They're going to bleed. <laughs> So we'll see how we'll see how well that goes. And freaking Adam stabbing Blake while she was down. And I mean I while I predicted that Yang would come to Blake's rescue, it turns out that it was completely ineffectual and um, she lost an arm. So Jesus Christ, what is going to happen? <laughs> we, as far as I know, there are no more fillers. There better not, not be any th fillers. And next episode is episode 12. And for the past, you know, two, uh, last volume, it was 12 episodes. So next week should be the final episode. So I don't know what direction they're going to go. I mean, we're probably going to see Ozpin fight. I hope we see Ozpin fight. That would be cool. But the fact that he's asking for Ironwood, Glinda, and Crow as backup uh, says that he's probably expecting not to be able to win. And the question is, uh, is he going to survive the encounter? Uh, and if he does, you know, well, and, and if he doesn't, how is that going to affect everything? And... Once Ozpin dies, it, you know, assuming that's what happened, what is Cinder going to do? Is she going to stick around, or because she has what she wants, she's going to go and pursue whatever other plan that she has? So, I have a bazillion questions, and there's only one episode to explain it. So, I'm really hoping that Miles and Carrie and whoever else puts input into this thing uh, can answer most of those questions. I mean, I don't mind, you know, waiting for the next volume or stuff like that, but I mean, it's gonna kill me if they leave it on a cliffhanger with this many questions. So, I mean, prediction? Ozpin's gonna die. Cinder's gonna leave uh, Vale to its fate, but uh, I mean, it's gonna be almost completely ravaged by Grimm. She's just going to leave him there bleeding. Um, I mean, Yang and Blake have to survive, but, uh, I mean, I don't know how badly they're, they've been injured. And so, uh, Jesus Christ, just like, how did they do this? There's, there's six episodes after like two volumes and four, in five episodes of like you know oh we're in trouble but you know we're all you know we're all gonna be okay and stuff like that but no just no <laughs> no six episode onward you are you guys are gonna have so many heartaches that you might not even want to watch our next volume <laughs> uh, what would be nice I mean I'm not saying you know go full overboard or anything like that what would be nice if after the six episodes of niceness and then the six episodes or the five episodes so far of uh, of evil, depressing, feel-hurting, heart-wrenching, agony and despair, that the last episode will have some positive things. I know I'm asking a lot there, and I don't even know if I'm going to get it. But I mean, you know, we've had five episodes of depression, or five episodes of happy, five episodes of depression. I would really like a little bit of good news. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. But anyway, guys, we got one more episode, and I, I'm gonna have to wait a week to watch it. This this it, this feels nice. I feel like that picture of the dog that's in the house that's on fire, and he just sits there and it's like, this is nice. I'm all right. How could you guys do this to me? Okay, that's it. I'm done. That's, that's all I can do right now. That's all I can cover right now. Even with my two-minute break that I had between shots, I, I, I just got to watch this again. I got to analyze every second of it and find out what else is gonna happen so 
Thank you guys for watching. This is the Eight or Fourth Wolf, and I'll see you guys next time.